Okay, I'm going to do a walkthrough of two different decks. And uh, they are different in a, in a lot of ways uh, stylistically, but they're both kind of like got a certain medieval wizardy feel to them. And uh, so I'm going to show you both at the same time, get you, have you think, you know, to give you an idea of what they're like and, you know, your impressions would be. So they're not comparable specifically, but they're sort of the same kind of deck. The one thing I'm going to show is the Game of Thrones tarot. Uh, comes in a beautiful box. And you open it up, and then you have a nice book here. And then you have the cards. Kind of a matte finish. They're beautiful. I just, this is a beautiful deck, beautiful presentation. And then I'm going to show you the Barbara Moore's uh, Wizard Tarot. Uh, this has just came out. This is a new deck that came out by US Games, I guess. I'm going to put this out. Uh, I don't know. Who put this out? Somebody put it out. I don't, I don't know who. But anyways, so uh, the books are, this is, <laughs> this is such a cool book. It's the guidebook for um, the Game of Thrones. Uh, small print. It's not color, but it's just a cool book. It's sewn, which is kind of cool. Uh, the definition of the cards is not very clear. It kinda, it's kind of muddy in a way. But it's, it's a nice book, and it has... Um, Hundred, almost 100 pages. It's just that it's a very cool looking book, a beautiful cover. Uh, the other thing I like about, I mean, the, the, everything's really small, you know, which I'm not crazy about, it's a little bit hard to read, but it's not glossy. When I, whenever I read a, a look at a glossy book, a glossy pages, it's hard, it's hard on my eyes. Now this is a very glossy, high gloss. Now these are beautiful pictures, colored pictures, and very high gloss pages. But it's pretty, you know. Uh, so we're going to look at the both decks. I'm going to give you, I'm, just to give you, I think about what you like. I mean, consider what you like and what you don't like. So here is the Game of Thrones, and this is the Wizard's Tarot. They're essentially the same size. Uh, the Game of Thrones is probably an eighth of an inch taller. The width is the same. You know, the backs is a personal choice. There's got some dragons here. Here's this daggers. So I never watched the Game of Thrones, so I'm one of those people that have never seen it. So I'm just kind of looking at these decks. They're sort of wizardy feel to me, or, you know, kind of medieval, or I'm not sure what wizards are exactly, fantasy, whatever. But we're just going to look at the two decks, and uh, I get your thoughts. Now, just looking at them right now, um, these are actually the characters in a Game of Thrones, and this is, you know, this is supposed to be a wizard. Um, you see the topography is very different. This is a high gloss. This is a, this is, um, it is a gloss, but I don't know, it's, I just like these cards, but I'm not sure why. There's just more subtlety in them or something. They're not as stark as these are. So we're just going to go through both of them. Clearly labeled. And this is clearly labeled as well. The Fool. The Magician. Now this is the one thing about this deck. It looks like it's very costumey to me. Even though this is from a TV show, uh, you think that would be more costumey because they're all, all wearing costumes. This seems more costumey to me. It seems like it was really um, sort of uh, Halloween costume -y to me. And that's one of the issues I have with this deck. The High Priestess. Uh, so you see this is a little more traditional, but then again, it's, it's this, this picture that's sort of staged, more staged, where this looks somehow, somehow more organic. The light in this picture is very cool. The way, you know, it's a bigger subject. And the light is very interesting. You still have the columns there.
the Empress. Here we have like a fairy godmother type person. And here we have the Empress on a ship. Again, I've never seen the, the uh, television show. The Emperor. The Hierophant. So neither of them are like traditional Rider Waite Smith as far as you know the symbology or anything like that. So they have their distinct flavor. This is more like a Hierophant. They have these two supplicants here. Here we see no supplicants. But it's it's very cool. I, I'm like and I like this. It's kind of different the um, topography with that. The lovers card. The chariot. They both have dragons. Interestingly enough. You don't see the charioteer in this picture, but there certainly is a lot of energy moving forward. Here are the two dragons, or whatever those things are called. There's another word for them sometimes. Uh, strength. Uh, here she is with a dragon. Here she is with just a, a sword. Again, these are characters in the TV show, but I like the, the largeness of them. Now, to read with them, I'm not sure which would be a better reader. Depends on your, I guess it depends on your own sensibilities. Here's the hermit, uh, a much younger hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. This deck just seems the coloration just more organic. Justice as a man, and just as there's no justice person in this. The Hangman. Death. Both very different death cards. Temperance. It's got a Disney-like quality over here. And this is more, you know, a little more thought-provoking. But again, this is not, I guess this wouldn't be a good card for uh, beginners. I mean, you don't really see temperance in there. Temperance is also the art, uh, al alchemical card, the art card. This guy looks like he's reading. It almost looks a little bit like a hermit card in some ways. The devil. You see the difference with, yeah, this devil is just, I don't know, it's just a little bit over the top. Where this, this is quite creepy. Neither are traditional. Neither are traditional. They're, they're wizardy-like. The tower very, you know, fantasy-like, and this is, you know, sort of dark, disturbing, this topic. The star, again, very different. The moon, more traditional. The sun is another uh, dragon-like creature. Judgment, the world card, and it has a map, and this is, uh, looks like a bridesmaid or something coming out of the world. Uh, the Ace of Spears, do we think that's the Wands? Yes, it is the Wands. Okay, Ace of Wands, I think these have, oh, these have all the Aces. No, so we're going to have to... Do something here. Uh, should I turn this off for a second? Okay, they're back in order so they can be compared. Uh, the Ace of Spears, the Ace of Wands. That's pretty. Uh, not sure where the wands are, not that it matters. Three of Wands, Three of Spears. The Four of Spears. So we see that the Game of Thrones is a little more traditional. I'm not sure what that design is there. It's uh, unusual. Five of Spears. 
Five of Wands. The coloration in this deck is is very very similar. They're all similar. Where here you see a lot of different colors, a lot of different places. Uh, six of Spears. Seven of Spears. Eight of Spears. Nine of Spears. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. Ten of Spears. Page. Now this is a wizard deck, so you see there's wizards in almost I think every sort of wizard like in every every um, card. Here is more that dystopic kind of thing, or medieval, or I'm not sure what Game of Thrones is. Um, page. The Knight. Queen of Spears. King of Spears. King of Wands. We have our cup suit. Look at that cup. That's gorgeous. This is, you know, it's pretty. It's uh, kind of overdone. Little, mo I think it's a little um, highly technicolor. The two of Cups. The Three of Cups. The Four of Cups, the Five of Cups. Uh, the design-wise, there's a lot more detail in these cards. That here is just uh, more. It's more cohesive and more dramatic. Uh, you can see things in some ways more clearly. See how the light is so different on their faces, and here it's just kind of a, you know the light is here, the light is in front of them. Uh, sometimes over here you see a very normal dressing woman compared with someone on a horse. So you have a lot of uh, difference in, in um, how they're dressed and if they're modern dress or old dress. And here it's all consistent, which I like, the consistency. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. And King of Cups. I kind of like the stars around this guy. The Ace of Swords. The Two of Swords. See, she's dressed like a gymnast here, sort of. The Three of Swords. This is a cool Three of Swords, though. Four of Swords. That's an odd Four of Swords. It looks like she's getting stabbed four times. This one is interesting. This one's lying down, but there's a person over him praying or doing something. Kind of strange. The Five of Swords. There's a lot going on in both these pictures. Kind of cool. The Six of Swords. I don't know what this Six of Swords is going on. And they're, she, uh, they're on a motorcycle and a sidecar. I mean, you could read as such. This is a little bit more traditional. This is really pretty, pretty painting. The Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, the Page of Swords. This does not look like a youthful energy, but that doesn't really matter. The coloration here I really like. The Knight of Swords. The Queen of Swords. Oh, she's got a lot of swords behind her, doesn't she? And this is quite a very, um, she's got her hair done. She just had her hair done by Hollywood. Hair by Hollywood. Um, King of Swords. That's kind of cool. King of Swords. Ace of Coins. Two of Coins. 
three of coins. I like this, that they're working on it like a group work. They're actually building something. Four of coins. That's cool. Five of coins. This is odd. This coloration is odd for the five of coins. But of course, you see the person there struggling. The six of coins. I'm not sure what's going on with her, but... Seven of coins. Eight of coins. Now there's some similarity there. Nine of coins. Ten of coins. Page of coins. Knight of coins. Queen of coins is an older woman. It's a very young lady. And the king of coins. So there we have it. Um, we'll just lay them out. We'll do a, we'll do like a five carder maybe. Let's see. Let's see how they laid out. So they're not small cards. I mean, they're tarot size cards, so. A large table for that. Chariot. And then we have the Wizards, Gerald. Uh, Barbara Moore uh, did the book on this one. Of course, Barbara Moore's books are terrific. So these are different cards, but you get to see the um, how how color wise how different they are. Stylized. So you see, uh, there's a lot more color in the Wizards Tarot. Um, there's a lot more close-ups in the um, the Game of Thrones Tarot. The Game of Thrones Tarot is much more Rider weight. They look like they're a little bendy. I don't know why they're so bendy, but it's a nice cardstock. It's not a bad cardstock. So there you have it. You have uh, just a quick walkthrough for the Game of Thrones, which is a wonderful little book. It's but a very small print. And then you have the Wizard's Tarot, which has a nice a nice book, uh, but it's very I mean beautiful colored colored pictures, larger than the cards. And um, it's probably by Barbara Moore, you can't go wrong. And here's this book. This book just looks really classy, I think. It's sewn, it's a sewn book. And then you have your cards. So just in case you don't have enough tarot, tarot uh, decks, you, know, you may want to consider buying one of these. Or buy both, like some people do. Have a great day.